when you went viral, you made this song, right, about this, the rappers, J-50 and, and, and Wheezy. Wayne, Wheezy. Mm -hmm. I grew up listening to all of y'all. From the black is hot to get rich to blueprint, I bought it all. Yeah, we on Boss Talk 101. 101. Yeah, we gonna talk. Check it, man. It's Boss Talk 101, <laughs> man. We in the building, man. We got a very special guest today. This guy here needs no introduction. This guy's from Louisiana, man. But mm. this guy really, he, he, this guy different. Um, I really, really, really am intrigued by this whole movement. Uh, D1 is in the building. I don't look like what I've been through. Amen. When I ain't have outside money, I stayed in. One of the coldest ones I've seen to do it when it comes to lyricism, man. Yeah. I grew up listening to all of y'all. From the black is hot to get rich to blueprint, I bought it all. Yes, sir. It's thank going you. down. Thank you, baby. Thank <laughs> you. I appreciate that, for real. Man, thank you for coming on the show. A lot of times when you try to talk to people about God, they, they look for like the most extreme example of something to go against what you're trying to tell them. Oh, man, God has a purpose for all of our lives. And they, their first thing they'll say will be, well, what about a baby that died when they're mm -hmm. three months old? Da, da, da. And I love that response because mm -hmm. that takes wisdom to know that God can God can indirectly bless people. Even he use babes. Yeah, e even even through a non-traditional way, even through, even through death. And a relationship here different when you don't want anything from these people. That's true. At that time, bro, my... My whole life wasn't what it is now. So yeah. with the cash money situation, it was like I get it. Yeah, bro. It was like, man, I, I like I'm trying to figure it out. There right? you go. I'm trying to figure <laughs> it out right now. By you the grace of it. God, I got to figure it out, my That's brother. It. Like we, no, we, I get it. We, we, li we living good right now. I figured that when I when I seen it, I was like, he was younger. But I just know that God got something special in you because of stuff like that. Mm -hmm. That's powerful, man. Like, many people are not going to be able to reach the people me and you going to talk to. That's what this is all about, and I've told you that. You know what I mean? Like, and when I get that opportunity, it's an opportunity for me to inject something in them they'll never get. And it's not going to be forced on them. There you go. It's just going to be who I am. There you go. And that's the part right there. So, mm -hmm. it's... it's for, for that for that what you have to be in the midst of a certain group of people no matter who it is mm -hmm. it's going to change things absolutely so yeah. <laughs> you know so that's so that's that's what I've been doing man it was hard to say no to it though bro like one time slim slim I was sitting down meeting with slim in his hotel room and man we were talking and I had a show that day but when slim called and told me he was in town and he wanted to meet with me I was like Dang, I don't want to miss out on this this meeting with Slim, but I had this show I was supposed to go do. So, man, that's the only time in my career I ever, like, last second, backed out of doing a show to go meet with Slim. And I told him this when I met with him, and he was like, how much you was going to get paid at that show? And I told him, right? It was a few racks at the time. Um, man, he went in his pocket and just, and just, that ain't nothing. just gave me that, bro. So when you around that type of money, back then, keep in mind, back then, where I was, coming from making 39000 a year as a teacher, and I'm just like, man, this man just gave me like three G's yeah, just, just like, like that. that like it's nothing mm -hmm. you know I used to have to work about uh, almost a whole month to make three thousand dollars as a teacher you know when I'm seeing that it's hard to say no to that stuff man um but hopefully people feel me on this sometimes you could be focused on planting seeds in life and letting God use you God I got all these seeds I want to plant all around the world but you got to recognize that some of the soil that you're trying to plant those seeds on some of that soil is infertile yeah. So no matter how many seeds you plant on that soil, it's infertile. And it's like, are you going to waste your life just trying to plant seeds where you want to plant them at? Or are you going to be like, man, God is like organically opening all these doors for me to reach all these people and plant all these seeds. And for me, that was that's what I chose. And I think that's the best decision I could have made as a young brother coming up in hip hop is not to be selfish with my gift. Because. Yeah, all my partners, man, that's cash money, man. Go, man, what you mean? We grew up looking up to them dudes. But that's the difference. We grew up idolizing them dudes. But idolizing somebody is actually a sin. Definitely. You know, that's going against the Ten Commandments. We grew up looking at these people as legends. Now that I'm older and wiser, I'm like, we got to watch that word legend, bro. When we throw that word out there, it's like a legend of what? If you're a legend at poisoning our community, and making negativity sound good because you're lyrical and because you got a, a fire flow, I don't want to call that legendary anymore. When you went viral, you made this song, right, about this, the rappers, J-50 and, and, and Wheezy. Wayne Wheezy. Mm -hmm. I grew up listening to all of y'all. From the black is hot to get rich to blueprint, I bought it all. Um, which is crazy to me, you know what I'm saying? Like, 
uh, what made you do it? And because you said courage, like you know, you had to be your confidence up. Mm -hmm. uh, some had to had to had the trigger Something in happened. you to say, "I'm gonna make this song." Yeah. So I was a I was a middle school teacher when I made that song. So at night I'd be hitting the studio and I was a rapper. But by day, man, I'm in the trenches with sixth graders, eighth graders, and as I'm teaching them, I'm seeing how influenced they are by rap music. And I'm seeing how miseducated they're being by rap music. You know what I mean? I'm seeing middle schoolers come in school with tattoos and they don't even know what the tattoos middle mean. School. Middle school. M.O.B. Tatted on his arm. One of my students. I said, man, M.O.B., you know what that mean, bro? Money over. Just, right. I'm a member of the Bloods. Right. It's one of the two. And he looked at me and he was like, no, sir. I said, no, sir, what? I don't know what it means. I said, well, why you got it? Cause Lil Wayne got it tattooed on him. Wow! And that was his favorite rapper. It's moments like that. It's moments like one of my students, who really I didn't get along with. Man, all my students loved me. They had this one dude. I just could not crack the code on how to get through to him. And dude actually wanted to fight me one day. You know what I mean? And I finally, man, I had to, I had to block the exit to my class. I let everybody else out the class. I said, it's just me and you in here, bro. I said, you're not leaving this class till we talk, bro. Like. I love you. I got nothing against you. Like, let me know what's up, man. You always got a boot in your lip. Like, you ready? To, you look like you ready to put hands on me. Like, what's going on? Stayed in that class for almost an hour with him. When it finally, you know, came down to it, I realized this brother had issues with submitting to male authority figures because his his mom had some dude around him that. You know, I guess whoever she was dating at the time that was trying to get him to sell dope, you know what I mean? Saying like, oh, you want some new Jordans? You want that? Da, da, da. Huh, go, go, go move this for me. You know right. what I mean? Like, and, and he going through this at home in terms of just like being conflicted. Like, hey, is this, is this what the definition of real manhood is? And if it is, then cool. What I'm seeing from Mr. Augustine in the classroom, I ain't feeling this way, you know, I'm feeling this way because this dude putting money in my pocket and that, like, this just, this this seemed like what's cool. And I'm trying to deconstruct, you know, what he was, like, exposed to every day and his telling him. Thinking yeah, dismantle his thinking. And that's tough because cognitively a middle schooler is sitting there like, you going against what's feeding me right now, you know? Mm -hmm. um, going through that type of stuff, bro, and seeing that, all the music that they'll recite, like, Dan, I can't get you to learn your multiplication tables, but you know all the lyrics to Lil Boosie's song. You, like, like for real, that, that's what led me to make that song, bro. So I was like, let me address three of the rappers in the game. Jay-Z, 50 Cent, and Lil Wayne, who I know, they are smart. Regardless of what they rapping about, they smart enough to know that they ain't living that life anymore. You know what I mean? And I'm like, if you're smart enough to know that you came from that life, but you had to all the way separate from it because now you've elevated, I wish y'all was smart enough to know how much you impacting these kids. And now to tell them something different in your music. I have a problem with you not living that way anymore, but you still glorifying that lifestyle. You know, and that's what I saw in all of their music at the time. Keep in mind, this is back in like 2009, 2010, 2011. Um, so that's why I did that song. And I always say it's not a, you know, in rap, when you say somebody's name, it's automatically implied like, oh, oh, we beefing. You call me out by name. This ain't no subtle subliminal that you threw. I say, I'm gonna, yep, I'm going to call y'all out by name, but it's not a diss song. It's a real song. And accountability does not have to be looked at as an attack. I don't look like what I've been through. Amen. When I ain't have outside money, I stayed in. Yeah, we on Boss Talk 101. 101. Yeah, we gon' talk.